Okay, so now we're going to move on to my favorite. I'm getting sleepy. My favorite um, memoir. Madness, a bipolar life by Ma Maria Hornbacher. This was copyright to 2008, so pretty recent. Um, let's see, publisher Houghton Mifflin. Never heard of that one. Okay, so the setup here, and this is important, at the very beginning, she, like the first fifth of the book, she skims over her childhood and early adulthood where um, she was diagnosed and dealt with an eating disorder. And I'm not really sure how necessary it was. It seems a little awkward. Just get back past that. Get past that and then you're in for a, a treat. A, it is just wild and so bipolar, <laughs> just, just in how it was set up and written. And oh my goodness, my favorite part is this section where she hooks up with this other mentally ill person, this man, young man. And they just go off into the desert, and they're just, I'm sorry, just off, you know. Like, you've seen people like that, you know. Maybe you've even been like that, that person that's out there, and everybody's going, oh, my God, woohoo, You know, and um, she, she never does a poor me, and oh, my God, I was so, you know, look how bad I was, or anything like that. She just says, here we go. This is what happened from my point of view. And her point of view at that time was mania. So, um, I think that having a, some knowledge, uh, definitely some knowledge of bipolar disorder and some time and experience if you have it. Um, I'm not really sure if someone without bipolar disorder would enjoy this if it would make a lot of sense to them but once you've identified you know put yourself found how you fit in the disorder then I think it's okay to go and read this book then because uh, you don't want to read it first before you don't know anything about your own disorder and how you fall in it and the facts and things but you don't want to. But you don't want to wait too long before you read it because she goes over a lot of uh, pitfalls that you can avoid. Hey, read it once early on, and after you've learned a little bit more about you and your moods, then read it again. So, um, men and women, I think, could relate, but. I'm going to lean definitely towards women, women with dual diagnosis. Um, she drinks. She really brings that in. She really brings that in. Um, she doesn't hide that. She doesn't tuck it in a pocket somewhere and just mention it. Um, rapid cycling. Men and women, or women who are writers or in the arts, creative uh, jobs, my words are starting to, I'm tired or something, so I'm losing my words. Sorry. Um, she has a severe case of bipolar disorder, um, rapid cycling, resistant to medications. Um, <clears throat> so some people can identify more. Don't read this and think that this is how your life is going to be. <laughs> Not everybody has the same experience. Her writing style, now, she wrote a memoir previous to this called Wasted about her eating disorder. It's fabulous. It's just, it's excellent, but 
if you have an eating disorder, I won't recommend it because it is very triggering. But <laughs> then again, I'm glad I read it before I read Madness because it just gives me a little backstory. And it's just a really excellent, really written book, and so is this one. She uses few words, punctuation, in such a way to give you a hands-on experience, a visceral, physical, here is the boob, feel it. It's smooth, it's hard, you know, it's slick, rather than in the head. Um, your reaction is immediate, it's gut. Uh, she uses behaviors as ways to dis further describe experiences, thought processes, and dialogue. She uses optimally, optim, and um, I can't say it, to an optimum. <laughs> so, um, I love this. Um, she... I think she, in another, this is another one where she does focus a little bit more on the mania um, than the depression, maybe. But I, she's also, she's, it's just kind of a mess for her, really. It's not very clear cut. She's got a lot of mix going on, and the, re, you know, I mean, one minute she's this, and the next minute she's that. She also, um, has a long-term relationship with someone else who has a mood disorder and towards the end they kind of learn to um, help each other learn how to identify when there's a problem with each other so that was really interesting um, and uh, the, the book's just a really good account of a severe form of the disorder. Let's see. Anything else on this one? I feel like I'm forgetting something. I don't I think I got it all. And now I'm down to one last memoir. And I'm glad because my brain's getting really wore out and I wanted to do them all. So I'll get to the last one.